uh things in the background move so interestingly when they're not in focus it looks like uh, they're doing like a slow-mo recap or something sophie can we talk don't hurt him herman let him talk <laughs> My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. She's kind of crappy at her job if I was able to just show up at the back door. Hmm. People here say you can be useful. I'd rather see for myself. How about a small errand first? Uh, what are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters. Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. Oh god, crystals. For a certain you know what that means? We're going to a dark zone. That's the only place. Alberto and Vincenzo? Tell me more about them. A father and son duo. Alberto, the father, tends to yammer on. Before zero hour, he had a workshop on piles of cash. Vincenzo, his son? Kinda shy. They're both craftsmen. Clever, too. The kind that can make a watch out of old gum and a piece of string. You said you were in charge of safety at the bazaar. What does that mean exactly? It means any PK who threatens our community of free people can count on me breaking his skull. Oh, from the way Carl talked, you sounded more like pacifists. We're trying to overturn the old ways and usher in a new era for humanity. It's a true revolution. And every revolution needs two things to succeed. Ideology and an armed faction to enforce it. A certain transaction? Anything I need to know about? Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell, Carl says. <laughs> Do you believe that? I believe in not trusting strangers, and that's who you are, so far at least. Bring me the location of the crystals first. We'll Wait, she said location of them? Okay, maybe I'm not a scavenger Those for crystals. this. What's the deal with them? They were created by the chemical bombings of the city. A byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does. But there's no harm in trying. And they probably do. They're so important to you guys. That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? But most importantly, they're real, tangible things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. <coughs> Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craft masters. They should be at the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. Seems neat. I like this idea. Although guaranteed I'm going to be heading over to another scavenger hunt for one of them. It's just going to be an infinite loop of helping others. Oh yeah, blueprints. Hold on. I had a huge, a massive. Oh, let's see. Do you have anything? Whoa, that looks cool. Knuckles, axes, remote C4. Hmm. Nothing that neat for now. Yeah, that's not great. But you, on the other hand, UV bar, unique throwable. Okay, I'm going to assume that just holds them off. Fire arrows, I don't have a bow yet. Uncommon tip mod for toxic. And flame, that's what I want. Give me this. Fire. What's the difference between, wait, tip of the weapon versus the shaft? What? Empowerment makes your weapon heavier, increasing its damage. At this rate, I may as well just buy all the mods. I don't understand. Why wouldn't I? I got a bajillion, bajillion things. Infected trophies for everything. Yup, infected trophies for everything. A workshop, Dad. Yes, a workshop. So where is it? You're not in one now, Alberto. Welcome, value, Dad. Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals. Oh, for fucks! The 
I've already sent one of their f f f f f f f fuckwits. Who? That fellow, <laughs> Sophie's brother. Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name. Barney. Was Barney. And he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred, a uh, 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 hundred and twenty, a uh, uh, hundred and. Uh, <laughs> Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro, there's a big sign, fashion store, and a windmill on the other side of the street. Uh, thanks. Oh, that just for him to tell me that. Damn. Okay. No, not right now. And? Well, what did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman, see if Barney turned on his radio. Is he dead? Barney, answer me. Barney. It sounds like we got to go help him out. I guess he tried to get the crystals so on his own, but he's trash. Him. He's looking for the crystals on his own. I'm throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No, he's always trying to prove himself. Yeah, Last he's dead. He that, that dude's dead. Wasn't if he's going to where I think he is, he's dead. Fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. No, they're gonna kill him. He's dead. Why blame yourself? We all make our own beds. Listen, you said it yourself. You're new here, so you don't know much. I'm responsible for security here, and he's my brother. I promised I'd look after him. You promised? Promised who? Never mind. I'll kick Barney's ass when he gets back. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me. Damn it all to hell. If he went to a dark zone in his condition... Ooh, we get to be sent to a dark zone. I can try to track him down. You? Yeah, me. I've been to the dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? I'm a boss. If you save him, you won't regret it. Go. At once. You have to find him before dawn. I'll do my best. All right, epic. Another introduction to it. Huh? While exploring the city, you'll come across characters marked with a time glass icon. These are nighttime stories. Missions that are best completed at night. After you interact with the character, hold T to fast forward to the night so the mission can carry away. That's new. I didn't realize I could hold T to do that. Just because you got holes in your shoes doesn't mean you're poor. A word. That's when you know it is nighttime. <gasps> Unspent skill points. Combat? Yeah. All right. What do we want? Air kick. Grapple? Use the momentum of your attack enemies to throw them to the side while an enemy pulls towards you press F perfect parry perform a perfect block to stagger your enemy for longer and trigger a slow-mo effect that okay power attack yes I need something like this oh yeah and I got parkour points far jump tap E while jumping over an obstacle increase your speed while navigating tricky obstacles like slopes balance boards pipes wall openings Dart. Temporarily increase your move speed, which allows you to jump across wider gaps, reach ledges, or run along walls. Dude, every single one of these things are valuable, but I don't know which I would... Which... Oh, there it is. This is what I was talking about. I, the whole time while I was trying to chase that dude, I was trying to do this, but my guy would just stop. Increase your speed while navigating tricky obstacles like slopes, balance boards, but I, the running along walls, I don't know, is that that useful for me? 
I don't know. Far jump? Active landing? No, I never used that. Fast climb? Ah, I'm so... I'll start with this. Having a power attack is quite nice, though. Damn, that sounds satisfying. How's the combat been? A1, dude. I love this game. 100% worth the wait. Wait, what was that? Oh, F. Why would it want me to mash F? sort of defeat event oh electricity i think i only had an eight percent chance to do that but hey i'll take it did you just dodge my electricity there we go infected trophies i i need these i didn't realize they'd be so important for uh Leveling up mods, but I would like that quite a bit. Damn it. It's like right here. The margins for a medium uh, difficulty lock thing is actually quite crazy. All right, I need to head over to there. Oh God, I didn't realize I'd be on the ground. You don't see me though. Eh, <laughs> too quick. Uh, apparently he doesn't want to leap. Okay. No idea why he wanted to do that, but sure. You don't see me. I have the high ground. Thank God we activated one of these settlement settlements. nearby okay nice ouch oh my god dude listen to the music Sophie I'm inside there's no sign of Barney yet you have to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. I get it. Relax. I'm looking. Hurry. Why can't I get this book? All right. I need to somehow distract them, but at the same time, I don't want to alert them at all. Oh, there he is. All messed up. What's this? I love how I can just casually. Oh no! You dead, Barney, you dead! Thanks for the crystals, though. Hold on, let me. Did he not make it because of the infection? Oof. Sophie, Taden, I found a radio. His head got bashed in. Body. Male, white, bald man. I'm sorry, Sophie. That's not 
Barney. That's Kojak. One of ours. Oh, nice. Can't be far. Barney lives. Investigation. Some information can be hidden in plain sight. To discover, you need to do an investigation. That's nice. Where are you camping, Barney? We're not, we don't want to play these games. Oh, this idiot went deeper into the void. But hold on. I want to steal all the crystals while I have this opportunity. These things are worth, like, what, a bajillion dollars? Sophie, I found blood. It's fresh. Hurry, Aiden. Oh, why are you doing this to me, dude? This idiot went upstairs? God, I'm trying to I'm trying not to alert something. This is good. We can get him. Stealthily. There we go. Wait a minute. Hey, that's a big boy. That is one big boy, damn. And he's empty. All right, Barney's lucky we came to save him. Apparently he's still alive behind a door. Like an idiot. Fuck, now what am I supposed to do? Barney, are you? Who the fuck are you? Hey, Sophie sent me. Yeah, right, and I'm a PK general. The radio, you moron. Fuck off! These are our crystals. You get it? You will get it. Barney, open up. Fuck off. Sophie, I found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. A stubborn fucker. Just try and talk to him. I'll try. Just use the radio. Go back to where you came from! Your sister is worried about you. Don't you even keep Sophie out of it. Oh, at least you know it's a soft spot. You damn lucky you're busy here, dipshit. Barney, I'll count to three. One, two, three. Go the fuck away. You ain't getting a thing from me. Fuck shit. Dude, he's gonna alert an army to us. Great. Aw oh, crap. Just as I say that, too. It's a good thing we ranked up our stamina. Oh, they're still coming. Okay, hold on. There's quite a number of you. Oh god. What is this? I got no opportunities to get my stamina. Oh, that critical hit though. some air your sister mentioned you're stubborn but she didn't say you were an idiot hey i should beat you down for this that. guy got really messed up what happened Here, to him take your radio did one of his own Believe jump it. him no birdie we gotta find birdie who he lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there if not for him i'd have ended up like kojak 
You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised his old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. Imagine needing You're a child no to do that for you. Search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. Where can I find him? He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you. Got it? Hurry! All right, back to the fold, but my immunity is still dropping. Oh, they replenished it for me. Oh, sweet. I don't have to worry about... Oh my god! That could have gone really bad. Blood must be birdies. I literally Trash dropped on the zombie. <sighs> We're out in the open, dude. There are zombies everywhere. Ran to the truck. Maybe he made it. This is bad. Hey, you find Bertie? Not yet, but he was bleeding badly. I'm following the trail. I wasn't going down without a fight. I'm trying not to bring their attention to me, but it's not that easy. Man, the trail implies that it's outside now, but there's like a whole swarm of them there. I kind of don't want to head over that way. Did he climb up? Is that what it is? Oh, he did. Man kept going up. Who's Nathan? Best birthday ever. Sixteen years old. <coughs> I'm not. Who are you? Damn. A maiden. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney. <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? Uh, yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. <clears throat> I pulled it off. <clears throat> Man, Joe, this guy's not infected. only infected, did but it looks like his arm's broken. Well, two are wounded already, but... <clears throat> Listen. <clears throat> it's my birthday today. Uh, and... Can I ask a favor? You see... <clears throat> over there. My radio. I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. He's not making it, dude. Of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta. Hello? Mom. <coughs> you there? Mom? Nathan? Is that you? Oof. What happened? Where are you? It's all good, Mom. We're almost. Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney! He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen, we got him. The crystals. We got him. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe. Barney promised. Sure. Soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. Nathan, what's going on? Rip. Rip. He's going to turn, isn't he? Well, Barney. You there? Barney? Adam, 
Dude, is that his Either. stomach just leaking yeah, out? I'm just trying to reach your brother. It is. Barney's here already. He left? He... What? He was supposed to... I didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. But he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar. I'll explain everything. I don't think I care about the bazaar anymore. What an awful dude. Hey, open the... The, oh wait, did I already open this? Is that why? Oh, I got I found it too early. The game wanted to reward me for finishing that part of the main quest, and here I am already sneaking the goods. Oh, look who's over there, guys. Just give me one second. <laughs> Idiot. Thank you very much. What do we got here? Get it here. This is just a random trader. Okay, what do you got? Anything good? Nope, he's got nothing but crap. Yeah, it's just garbage. You know, one thing I was worried about with this game was if the jumping felt a bit floaty, but it's it just feels appropriate, if that makes sense. It feels right. Am I liking the game? Yeah, I really enjoy this game. If I were him, I'd clear out before he pisses people off. Can I kill that guy? Break his nose again? Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica Let me punch him in the throat. The, the PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. He killed him. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you Let just me elbow shut him up, in the throat in the Adam's apple. Where's Sophie? You again? What are you doing? Spying on me? You got something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosy here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. Do I look like Zilch that to you? I'll fold you right now. Deserve to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? From what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. This guy's such an idiot. Not even a hothead. He's just stupid. You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim. And they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me. That it? You don't know shit about me, my people, jackass. Punch him right now. Brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you. So go bother her. Punch him right now. I honestly, if I was ever given an opportunity to hit him as like an action sequence, I'm punching him right away. Hey you. Yeah you. Looking for work? By any chance? We have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. Extortionists? You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Does that guy even speak? Interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Hey, he's a pile of garbage. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides, but on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, 
I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? I honestly don't care for your issues. I'm more curious about the... It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. <laughs> That's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. But Lucas, he deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill to support themselves. They take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. I started learning that. I love I this. I love this dynamic that they have with all these different factions where one thinks they're doing good, the other thinks they're doing good, but they're both doing wrong in the opposite eyes of one another. Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did with Barney and Birdie? It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. Sounds like he, excuses. He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Idiots. She's not even drinking. Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. You would think if there's only one water source, you would go your extra effort to protect it, especially if it's the only one your whole bazaar can get. Don't you think that's a little stupid? You know all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was gonna handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. They're only here to help themselves, certainly not us. They could care less that Joe took the tower and demanded protection money. My mother used to say, never bargain with extortionists, when she was still in charge here. Wait, so before Carl took power, you... She led the bazaar with an iron fist, and Carl listened to her. After her death, he became full of himself and he got cocky well, didn't your mother want you to succeed her i know what she wanted for her people community and freedom that's what she always said but don't ask me what she wanted for me i don't know if i even existed for her at all she was a great leader but a shitty mom what are you gonna do what i have to do i promise to help carl so while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna I feel like we should just more kill him. More out of us. And so on and so on. The most Obviously, the demand is gonna get to higher. Safe. We don't negotiate with terrorists. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. I hope this means I got a bow and arrow. How else am I supposed to protect you at range? Give me a gun? Maybe? Ooh, they gave me Molotov. Scrapper hammer. Thank you. Back off, kid. The hell you just say? Man, this guy's lucky. Genetics have already ruined this haircut, otherwise we would have ruined this face. Now let me see, is there more to offer? No, one. no, he has the same stuff. Okay, but we can. Can I sell? I believe we got a bunch of crystals and valuables that are probably worth selling. Yeah. Miscellaneous stuff. 
$600 redos. Let's go. Now, is there anything worth it, though? The bomber, a unique stick. Uh, okay. Wow, this weapon is only level 2, but it does double the damage mine does. What is this? Okay. It would be awesome if we had some way to snipe enemies, but I get the sneaking suspicion that doesn't exist. I'm sure there's a bow and arrow. Uh, we have weapon mods for modifying arrow tips, so we'll see. Oh, damn. He's talking to me? Alright, either way. Um... What are you even looking at? Get out of here. Yeah, burn. Are all the zombies now level two? Aiden, something's up. Susie, you there? Sophie, we're under. <gasps> what? Susie, what's we must going go. On? All right, how do I get there? Where is it again? Where is it again? Where is it? Where is it? Am I crazy? I can't... Oh, all the way over there. Two hundred meters away. Honestly, even if we start a chase sequence, it's fine. Fast. Uh-oh. Uh... Leap! Hold on, let me kill this chase real quick. Haha, uh -huh, can't touch me, can't touch me. Right? Can't touch me? <laughs> Hold on, shoo, go away. Don't interrupt my quest. What the hell? Who shot the red flare? What? Alright, I want to see what this quest is all about. What? Is it down there? bandits oh, and a lot of bodies sophie i'm sorry i knew it i knew those motherfuckers would betray us fuck them aiden kill them all it's quite a number of them thankfully there's plenty of uv light around me I ain't here, look away. <laughs> Good night, loser. All right, let's see. The thing is, is with fighting humans, humans are a bit different when it comes to fighting. Uh, in groups, they're kind of tough. I wonder if this just stuns them. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there's not that many. His name is Duke. Duke Nukem? Oh, man. Throwables are the best. I made it. There are no survivors. Fucking cannibals. Find the oh, I thought she said cannibals Susie. for a second there. Susie? Carl. They, they took Carl. 
What? Where? <sighs> to their camp. We, we must... Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Oof. Look at her Susie? eye, dude. She probably took a hammer to the eye. Sophie, I found Susie. She's dead. I can't believe it. First birdie, now her. Damn. 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 There's nothing you could have done. No. Wait, what's happening? I sent them there. What is that? Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. And I don't see these crystals. Oh my god. Ugly motherfucker. He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are Listen to in. her own self-interest. There's a giant Hercule steroid boy right in front of me. Oh, I think he's aware I'm here. My concern right now is starting a horde. Let's just deal with everything. I'm actually... Considering just killing him. Maybe a big boy, but how difficult would it be to kill you? Where did he go? Okay, whoa, he's he's kind of spawning an army here. Oh, yeah, take care of them for me. Okay, this is not good. He's actually attracting a bit of a group here. Ouch. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. Oh, but I'm safe here. Let me just... Oh, crap. Wrong mushroom. It's the wrong drugs, my boy. Oh. Old X to ignite. Enjoy. That guy just tanked that like it was nothing. Dead. Yeah, there we go. I I feel like all these giganto big guys are going to be dropping nice rare trophies, which I like. Oh, what's going on, Bebop? How are there still so many? Did we not just kill a whole swarm of these guys? Whoa, where are they all coming from? Sophie, everything's been taken. Before you got there, everything has gone wrong. All right, enough of this playing defense. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp on the roof by the overpass. We're gonna go after Carl and our crystals. All and right, we're going on the full show. offensive. Get up. Heard there are a lot of bugs in the game. Do I encounter any yet? No, actually. I've had a pretty, uh... I've been having a great time. Future hopes up. Not the marrying kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned? They took Carl hostage. Oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Good. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Best Just watch out. Yet. They might be suspicious, but... Hold on. Before that guy keeps going on... I well, oh these are supply cases. I have like three of these. A case of medical supplies, but it's a consumable. 
I sacrificed everything for them. Everything. Oh, yet, that's a superior healing item. Whoops. It was worth it. Oh, I don't care about you. I had to them. You survived the night. We should be good. Yeah, nighttime bonus. What? Where? I need I need the inhibitors. Somewhere to the right. Thirty. Yeah, somewhere to the right. Oh God. Where? Where is this container? What's this? Is this it? Scan implies it could be. Can I use my survivor sense, please? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea way too far in. If I activated this windmill, it doesn't look like it. Oh, nice. I have it. Nice. Nice little... Additional zone. Alright. Alright, this one was a lot simpler than the other ones, I think. The N64 method. Nice. Uh, where's the map? Where did it? Oh, right down there. Buddy? Hi, Herman. Where's Sophie? Hey, why were you on the mission? Friends could have used you. Okay. I guess that means I should wait here. I guess you really can speak no English. No, oh, another nighttime raid. What the hell just happened? Your mind control? Oh god. Mia? Dude, this reminds me of Outlast 2, these little scenarios where you get these small flashbacks. Oh, I going back to the hospital slash uh School was the most nightmare fuel thing of all time. Aiden, what's the matter with you? Mia, where are you? Mia. Whoa! Oh, no. no, no, no! Follow the voice. Huh? 
Oh, what's up, S Gator? I'm doing good. How about you? Jack and fucking Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked, and yet I let him lead. Um, why didn't you send Herman on the mission? They wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. It's one damn big child. You don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. He used to be my mother's bodyguard. Has been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died, he stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. The infected broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. So there are grenades. He survived the explosion, but lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, he's as vulnerable as a child. A killer combination, especially for him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Sometimes I wonder if he's watching over me, or I'm watching over him. Don't beat yourself up. Things could have been worse, too. If I had listened to myself, we'd have water and more of our people would still be alive. You were just doing your job. You were following Carl's lead. Yeah, but I won't let him lead the bazaar to its doom. I see. Wait, I lost the uh, Jack and Joe could have original dialogue. This is murder. Joe, perhaps. He's a total psycho and a thief. He knew the peacekeepers would hang him if they caught him. But Jack wouldn't let him. He's a coward. He thinks rationally. All right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. In case you change your mind. Guy comes out here grilling me when the second it we exited the, the door, pass. issues were happening. Will something good for the city one day. How am I liking the game? Easily one of my favorites. I've I got about seven hours into it now. I, I can't get enough. I love it. And my favorite part is we are just scratching the surface of the parkour, the combat, and the story. I can't wait. I gather you were close with Birdie. He tried to be a poet. Kept showing me his work and said all the other guys were too stupid to understand. I never told him how bad it was. He was a good kid. I took him into the group when he lost his father in a dark zone. He was 10 years old. Damn. A dark zone of all places, That's too. pretty young. Too young. But he had no one else. So I took him in. Look at the glow of the fire on the plants. That's that ray tracing, man. It's beautiful. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Monsieur's Cock and Cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl Honestly, I agree. We should just we kill him. I like that idea. Uh, the guns blazing route. Just skin right him. Right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie. They deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Wait, is that where I'm going then? Hey, Tor here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. What? What did I do? I'll tear them apart. I swear, I'll gut them. Real. All right, slow. no conversations with them. Wait a minute. Why? How is it saving my life? I, the last I checked, I've been saving everyone else's. I love this. Just gotta keep leveling up my parkour skills. Look at that group down there. 
Oh, yeah, we've dealt with that already. Never mind. <laughs> I'm so tempted to just initiate a bajillion chase sequences, but we're actually kind of weak on the mobility front. We're, we're pretty trash. Where are you going? I love how they said this is supposed to take skill, but I just run up to this guy and I punch him in the face. Alright, where is this guy? Oh, whoa. You're not what I thought. Wait, did you just turn into a level 2? Where the hell does this guy want me to be? Oh, over there. Oh wait, hold on, let me get these first. How many dark zones have we been through where our immunity almost ran out? All of these little UV mushrooms are just a must. All right, what do you want, loser? What do you want? Loser. I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? You said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Oh. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. What? That doesn't seem like it. They seem happy to take whatever help is offered. So they say. But those people hate us, Aiden. Along with anyone who works with us. So if they do suspect, especially someone like Sophie... I can handle them. Lucas thought so too, and look how he ended up. Be a pity if I found you in a ditch somewhere, with a piece of your hide cut out. You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus, and I take care of my. Oh allies. God, Sai's already so establishing just themselves. For water. That's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar and for her mother's death. Oh. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. This is strange. There's got to be a point where I have to choose a side. We're in the middle between two. But I'm, I'm still choosing the Don't little people. The people of the bazaar. They're more dangerous than they seem. Is that a treasure chest down there? Whoa, why is this guy melting? Get down here. Look at him, he's melting with every swing. Why are you running? Why are you running? Man, I, I eventually need an auto lockpick. Yeah, rice! My favorite. Always finding rice. I'll take this too, just for fun. Oh, never mind, I lost it. Uh-oh. Oh, the night is over. Nice. I really couldn't make that jump? That's kind of pathetic. There we go. Wait, whoa, where'd you come from?
if there's one thing i will say there are some weird weird moments with like the animations where they keep interrupting one another and you get stuck in this state where you do nothing like the sliding down and trying to kick people one that's probably the best example it's time for it looks like sophie's not here i, I, I better look must, for her must be dad it's still early Alright, let's change our inventory for a second here. Wait, what? My weapons are scaling on their own? May as well. Honestly, I'm not even that bothered by this, the lower quality weapons. We just kick the crap out of everything. Looking for something? But I got... Hey, have you seen Sophie? I'm, I'm looking for... Ah... Oh. It's our brave fucking pilgrim. Been looking for you. Drink up. Cheers. Uh, I don't know if I trust this man's drink. Uh, my throat's sore. Don't want you to catch anything. I don't trust it. I'm unfucking touchable. Hey, what's up, Chapel? Plagues can kiss my fucking ass. Hey, did you get your radio checked by that dumbass Alberto? <laughs> that kook can't ever finish a sentence he starts. <laughs> Must have a brain made of Swiss cheese. <laughs> Show some respect, Humphrey. Alberto's a genius with weapons and armor. What's your big skill? Farting into Is the stream looking suddery for you guys? Because when hey, I when I'm playing, it looks fine but i'm looking over at obs and it looks a little Barney's tiny coming. choppy and he's gonna kick hey prof with the raid what's going on guys thank you so much man Hello, prof you Barney. should pick this game up you can vent your gogeta frustrations right here it's the best possible way to pass the time Yeah, it looks like it's kind of stuttering, which is a little bit strange. Because when I'm playing, it's smooth. I don't know why the stream is kind of doing that. I'm looking for Sophie. Where'd she go? Said she had important business to attend to. Oh, Prophet, the tier one sub, too. Thank you so much. If you came to find out if I have a boyfriend, I don't. Which doesn't mean you have the slightest chance with me. Because you don't. If you think I was interested in whether you have a boyfriend... I wasn't. Which doesn't mean if you change your mind about my chances, I'll change my mind too. What the hell? Fine. What brings you? Did you take care of Barney today? That guy is like a neon sign that reads Big Trouble. Right. He has nothing to say. I'm going to assume it might be the fire. Who knows? Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes, she went. Uh, she said, the, uh, she went that way. Exactly. Thanks. Wait. There's more. One more thing. Something's wrong with uh, uh, not working with the. Uh, it's broken. That. Uh, oh. <laughs> Dad's asking if there's something wrong. Hey, he knew. Radio. Yes. Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo. Uh, Aiden? How do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo! Why? What do you... I'm going to assume it's just because we've been streaming for a long time. Dad, I'm asking We've been at it for what, three and a half hours now? Will you tell me, Aiden? I'm not that exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him alone! To find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet, but I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. 
he disappeared like the other kids because of those fucking tests. Tests? You mean GRE tests? You heard that when they built the walls, they were trying to create a vaccine here? It all fell apart in a couple of weeks. One day, Federico vanished into thin air. We'd been playing football. I went to my house after that. He went home too. And I never saw him again. I'm sure they took him. And that's not all. You see, he wasn't the only child who went missing that winter. There were others? Two girls disappeared from the building next door at the same time. And more, all across the city. Look at that, they're all just and rounding up children for their experiments. Found. No, but based on what Federico's mother said, I have a feeling I know what happened. Federico had been in the hospital a month earlier with pneumonia. Pneumonia His too. Was told that some GRE doctor had ordered blood tests, but they wouldn't tell her why. A week after he was released from the hospital, he was gone. Do you remember this doctor's name? No one knew, and no one at the hospital would say. Only that he was on classified GRE business. Then, everything went to hell. The GRE collapsed. After that, some of the kids were sighted in the central loop. But, not Federico. Every day, I wonder what happened to him. I hope he's alive. And that you find him someday.